Good afternoon, everyone. It's Michael from Bro JMR. It's Tuesday, therefore it's new release day. And as usual, I have gone to painstaking efforts to find out all the new stuff coming out this week and put it all together in a nice, neat little video for you to watch. That way you can see if there's anything that you're interested in. So here we go. November 11th, 2014. We got a lot to go through, so let's get going. Uh, we're going to start out with video games first because I did not get any of these things to show you, physically actually show them to you. So I'm just going to read off what they are. Um, Assassin's Creed. Brand new Assassin's Creed game. Uh, that's out for Xbox One, PC, PS4, and PC. I did see it on Xbox 360 today at Best Buy. I did not see it on PS3, but I'm assuming it's going to be on there as well. Uh, this one takes place in during the French Revolution. Um, I was actually got a friend of mine that got it at midnight and started playing it and told us uh, it should be called Assassin's Creed, the Les Mis video game. So see what that see of that what you will. Um, this graphics look stunning on it. Um, that's on a of course next gen console. Um, interested in it. Um, I still have not played. I've actually not played any of the Assassin's Creed game. I have Assassin's Creed Black Flag, which looked pretty interested. But now um, this one looks really good too because I'm kind of into history. Um, I'm weird like that. We also got Halo: The Master Chief Collection HD remakes of one, two, three, and four. This also has a beta version of Halo 5, which has not come out yet. Um, it's only available on Xbox One. Jonathan uh, was considering picking it up until he realized that, oh yeah, I don't have an Xbox One. I have to spend the money on that as well. But he also said if there's anything that would convert him into getting an Xbox One, it would be Halo. He's a big Halo fan. Halo's pretty cool. I don't know if I'd buy a system just for it. We also have Lego Batman 3 Beyond Gotham. Lego Batman in space. I'll eventually get it because it's Lego and I love Lego. And they just do an awesome job with their games. Um, it's pretty cool. They're fun. They got nice little uh, humor in it. It's pretty cool. Nice. Um, that's available on, um, looks like everything, PS4, PS3, Xbox One, Xbox 360, and Wii, Nintendo Vita, and 3DS. You got a lot of choices for there. Uh, Alright, uh, movies. There's a couple of movies came out this week. We've got Jersey Boys, which is a story of uh, Frankie Valli and the Four Seasons, directed by uh, uh, Clint Eastwood, based on the musical of the same name. Um, I actually have a friend of mine, Kevin. He was actually in that movie. So good job, Kevin, if you see this movie. Congratulations. <coughs> um, Let's Be Cops. Yeah, I'll probably rent that on Redbox when it comes out. Um, it, or whenever I get around to it. It looked kind of funny. Um, I don't know if I'd buy it though. Uh, Tammy. If you like uh, Melissa McCartney, I think that's her name. That's for you, Tammy. Really had no interest in this movie whatsoever. Uh, the big kids movie this week is How to Train Your Dragon. Uh, Best Buy's got a fabric banner that you can buy for $5 with it, normally $7.99. And Walmart has a bundled pack with a sheep toss game. Why you would want to toss sheep around, I don't know what they ever did to you, but um, sheep toss. Cool. Also, something I was super excited for. Weird Al Yankovic. UHF. 25th anniversary edition. I'm a huge Weird Al fan. I was excited when I saw that this was coming out on Blu-ray because I have seen it one time when I was younger 
and it's been a long long time in fact I've only seen it on TV once ever ever in my entire life have I seen it once on TV uh, it's got some pretty cool stuff on it it's got a um, Weird Al's San Diego Comic-Con 2014 panel all kinds of cool stuff and one of the biggest thing I really like that's the cover if you turn it over it's got a reversible cover on it with the original artwork that's pretty sweet good job Weird Al Yankovic uh, good job for uh, putting some thought into your um, into your artwork what else we got um, everything else is TV and I picked up everything that TV had to offer this time spent way more money than I usually spend but this was kind of a special occasion because there was some cool shit coming out start with the cheap thing actually True Blood Season 7 um, got it at Best Buy 35 bucks at Best Buy I think it's 40 bucks at Walmart um, there also is a um, box set of all seven seasons of True Blood. I'm not sure what Walmart has it for, but Best Buy, I believe, had it for 160 I did not want to spend another $160, especially when you see what else I bought. But uh, True Blood Season 7, uh, it is the last season. It's over. Um, I missed, I haven't watched Season 6 yet, so I've got two seasons worth of binging for, for True Blood. Um, well, we'll go with this one next. Sons of Anarchy box set. This in itself was pretty cool. Now, I know what you're thinking. Season 7 is still on TV. They thought ahead for that. It's got spots for Season 7 discs when they come out. Now, this is actually pretty cool in itself. But if you open it up, you see there's nothing in there. That's because this bad motherfucker is up in there. This is wood. It is a wooden box. It's very, it's magnetized, so it stays on there. Um, I'm not sure how well you can focus on this. I'm sorry if you can't see real well, because my thing is kind of dark right now. But it is the redwood table. That's what this is. This is the redwood table. It's got the indention of the Reaper, uh, Sons of Anarchy California Motor Club. So, excuse me, Motorcycle Club. Um, it also comes, that's nice of them, a $5 coupon for Season 7 when it comes out. Also, this is, if the packaging wasn't rad, this is pretty rad. This is how the discs are hold. It's a giant book with artwork. Oh, I'm sorry, you can't even see that. With artwork from all seven seasons. How cool is that? This is by far the best box set that I've ever got, and that's including Harry Potter 1 through 5 box set. This is by far the coolest shit I've got so far. This is my new pride and joy. Plus, it is friggin' heavy! It's protected, it's not going anywhere. All right, this is the last thing that we got. Now, I teased about this last week, and I said I was hoping that I'd be able to afford to buy it so I can show it to you. Well, I could have afforded to buy it, but Jonathan wanted to get it instead, so he paid for this. <sighs> get ready to be geeked out. Na 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 Batman! Batman, the complete series Blu-ray collectible set. This has some cool stuff in it. First of all, it's got a magnetized door that when you open up, it's got everything in there. How cool is that? You can't really see real well, I'm sure, but all this black has got all the whams and pows and biffs and all that cool stuff. Let's see what else we got in here. We got a, a deck of 44 collectible
Batman trading cards. We have a Hot Wheels. This is actually put out by Hot Wheels. Replica Batmobile. That's cool. This is actually a little bit bigger than the uh, Hot Wheels, like actual size Hot Wheels. Um, I wish I had a Batman original car to uh, compare it to. Hold that thought. Okay, I'm back. I did not have the Hot Wheel, but Jonathan has got the Batmobile TV series uh, Hot Wheel car. And this is so this is so much better quality than the little uh, 164 scale Hot Wheel. That's going to compare to show how much bigger this guy is. The wheel, well, the distance from wheel to wheel is the entire length of the original car. So, this is awesome. And it's in a nice little package so you don't have to take it out. And you can't really see real well, but in the background behind it is the bat cave. So that's just A plus presentation right there. Put this back in here and see what else we got in here. I'm gonna, about to wrap this up. I know it's running a little wrong, but I'm super excited about all this cool stuff this week. This was a good week. We have Adam West Scrapbook. It's got pictures uh, of the cast. It's got um, production photos, different stuff. And it actually, I just noticed this. He even signed it. Well, not actually signed it, but uh, thanks for checking the scrapbook, Adam West. Adam West's scrapbook. We also have an episode guide. Very, I mean, this is just high quality stuff. Really, they did a really, really awesome job. Photo quality stuff. We also got the individual packages with all three seasons. Got this one with the penguin, and on the back is the Riddler. We got the uh, Catwoman, and someone on the back, I don't know who that is. I don't know, maybe you can tell me. And we also got the Joker. Ah, now this is, like I said, the complete series. Uh, season three has got 26 episodes. Season two has 60 episodes. And season one, which I believe was a short season, oh no, a uh, regular size season, 34 episodes. So this is a lot of Batman. This is a lot of nerd stuff. It's, this is going to be great. And it's all remastered, completely done up. I cannot wait to watch it and see how good the quality is. So that's everything we got this week. Uh, next week, uh, got, got, got some more cool stuff next week. Um, that's all. Thank you for watching. Um, as usual, go out and buy some shit. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, um, in case you're wondering, uh, this is, we got this from Best Buy, and I believe it was $175 on sale. So, um, I only seen it at one Best Buy. I went to a separate one today. I couldn't find it. You may have to ask for it in the back. So, they do have it also on DVD, as well as the Sons of Anarchy box set. But, um, yeah, we got the Blu-ray because Blu-ray is awesome. So thanks for watching. Uh, this is, yeah, 16 minutes long, so I need to cut this off. So, as usual, thanks for watching. Uh, blessed be. Go buy some shit.